I forgot to reboot my router. <laughs> oh my god, why am I like this? Why did she forget? Because I have a lot of things that rely on my internet. Like, you know, I'll be streaming, so I can't reboot it then. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to play some WoW. That's online. Can't reboot it then. And then I go to bed because I'm tired. And then I wake up and I, I'm not thinking about it anymore. And then I go live and I'm like, shit. <laughs> Just restart it now, but what if it's fine? What if there aren't any connection issues? I had like one connection issue yesterday. <laughs> Helio McFly, thank you for the six months, and Chem Story, thank you for the six months. And Shago, thank you for the entire year. Yeah, no, that's a really disappointing thing. Mike was super hyped for it. He's been. He's been planning and, and doing lots of things in preparation. And it's just a huge shame that it just, like... American internet infrastructure fucked him. Yeah, he was gray, but even on like the phone that he was using for Discord, it was showing that he didn't really have any 5G. So it's not it's not like the the camera backpack was fucked. It was just that the place that he was did not have the connection to support what he was doing. a couple of cool shots so we got like a, a really cool shot of, of of an alligator jumping out of the water to eat something so that was neat napalm fudge thank you for the two years thank you very very much Mike looked up a connectivity map. It, this this is the thing. This is not a situation where Mike just decided to, like, just fucking raw dog it and go there without checking anything. He looked at a connectivity map and it said that they had a great 5G connection there. And they lied. <laughs> Rana, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. I mean, I've, I've encountered that too here. I remember when I was upgrading to a 5G phone. Um, they said, look at all the coverage that you'll get. I don't get that coverage. <laughs> it's just a fucking lie. <laughs> Snakey, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you, thank you. Kailua, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Did Mike get killed by security? No, an alligator. Waranov, thank you for the 13 months. And Protector of Poop, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, thank you. And Naruko, thank you for gifting five subs! Thank you much! Get gifted again, nerd! Oh, you got me. <laughs> Igor, thank you for the entire year. This is the Robocop theme as used in the Game Boy game, I believe. Da -da. 
which is was used on the uh, lobby for Space Station 13. Yeah, mo most of the people I know know it from Space Station 13. I haven't played the newest one, though. I've been told I should. Thank you for the 29 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a huge gym. I was so excited for it. Like, I can't even speak to how fucking, like, down mic must feel and I, I I know I shouldn't but I do feel some level of guilt because this like the whole VTuber ride along thing was originally like me being like Mike Mike can we try this sometime and Mike like you know trying to make it happen for me so I just feel really bad that it didn't <laughs> like I feel like I caused it <laughs> I caused this stress for him Wee you, thank you for the 300 bits. And Giz Spin, thank you so much for the five subs. Oh my goodness, thank you. And Sambrion, thank you for for the eight months at tier two. Thank you very much. Like, I know it wasn't really my fault. But at the same time, I'm like, no, I've caused him stress and agony. Because <laughs> I, I really wanted to, like, visit a zoo or something like that with Mike. I thought it would be fun. And he, like... This- this has been, like, a fair few months in the prepping for him just, like, trying to figure out how this would work and logistically get it, like, happening. So... Like, it was really sweet of him. Mike Six, thank you for the 200 bits of more now. Thank you for the 42 months. Thank you, thank you. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I hope you can do something nice and relaxing for a little bit. Yeah, no, no, it, it was a Veri Verizon's fault, but it still feels bad. Beautiful Jen, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm sure Michael at least get to do some Florida stuff, even if he can't stream it, which is a shame. Second.
I'm back. Sorry about that. Ugh. Like the booyah. Thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you so much. Not dead. No, still here. <laughs> Donachu, thank you for the 28 months. And Vastrakal, thank you for the 40 months at tier 3. Thank you, thank you. Bubbler's okay? Yeah, it was just a doorbell. Da -da 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 -da. Wake the fuck up, Samurai, but mom, I'm tired. Was it the second R at the door? That took me a second. I was like, I was like, I was like, the fuck does that mean? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh... It was... Leon's here, and he has this cute toy, but I'm pretty sure he's going to tear it to pieces, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous. Jojo, thank you for this five years! Holy frick, thank you very much! Lilistar, thank you for gifting a sub! And Melis Baker, thank you for the three months! Thank you very much! And True Blue, thank you for the 90 months! Holy moly, that's a long time. Aw, thank you. Thank you for being here for so long. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Da, 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 da. Yin Yin, you are going to ruin that. May I have it back? You will tear it apart and then Wesker will be sad because that belongs to Wesker. Why are you so violent? It doesn't have a squeaker in the face. Hitting it in the face won't do anything, Leon. The song? This is robocop.mp3. If you type robocop ss13, you will find it. <gasps> Ugh, OG Lampy! Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you very much and welcome. You want to swap that? Yeah, I think you need to swap that. I need to swap his toy. Hold on a second. He's going to eat it. I'm so sorry for the noises you might potentially hear in the background of this stream now. <laughs> well, let's die. Thank you for gifting us some two wayward ghost. Thank you, thank you. Squeak. <laughs> and Carrie Minerva, thank you for the 43 months. Is that true? Is that true? Squeak. Yeah, Leon is here, and Leon wants uh, wants to also play with his beautiful sun toy. And sun toy is really loud. <laughs> Squeak. My... Leon doesn't take out the squeaker usually. What he does do... Is he puts a squeaky toy on the floor and li and rears up on his back legs and then just fucking slams down with his front legs to make it squeak as violently as possible. <laughs> like, he will slam the shit out of that toy. He is very violent. Aren't you? Are you violent? It's a very cute toy. Isn't it?
Can Leon speak on command? No, I try not to do anything that encourages him to be noisier than he is. <laughs> I'm really sorry, that's gonna get really annoying. <laughs> Let him squeak, uh-huh. But yeah, I'm hoping this suck-up game is fun. It looks like fun. Ooh, it reminds me of, um, you know, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know facade? It reminds me of facade. <laughs> so I think it'll be fun. Gonzalo! You'll be f we'll be fine. You just need to leave. Yeah, no, he, he's he's very violent. What you can't hear is the the frantic like <laughs> the maniacal panting noises he's making because he just like absolutely beats the crap out of this thing. He is committed to violence. Oh, no worries, Ollie. I'm just glad it didn't work out. Sorry, sad it didn't work out. Fuck me. <laughs> Streamer reveals true intentions. <laughs> Sabotage from the inside. <laughs> Rakufish, thank you for the four months. Thank you very, very much. And Joey Goodness, thank you for the 26 months. This is very distracting, Leon. <laughs> Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> My VTuber animal, she's a ferret. <laughs> He's having great fun. <laughs> He's just like slamming it with his feet, and like the force of it is, is like kind of pulling them both backwards. Stonk! Thank you so much for subbing! Thank you, thank you, and welcome! It's a Wesker toy? No, this one is a Leon toy. He had a Wesker toy and I swapped it because I didn't want him to murder it. Squeaka, squeaka, squeaka. <laughs> this stream might be slightly shorter because I've technically been doing stuff for three hours already. <laughs> I, I, I was I was entertaining chat during downtime for three hours already on mic stream, so I don't know if I'll go for the full six hours here because I'll be very tired, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Last stream of 2023? No, that's tomorrow. I'm here for New Year's. I forgot to tweet out when I was collabing. I retweeted Mike and quoted. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be playing, uh... You found and followed from... Oh, really? That's awesome! I had a great time playing Lethal Company with them. That's so good. <laughs> that makes me very happy, so thank you. Thank you for dropping... God! Leon! <laughs> ah! Um, I'm gonna be playing Suck Up today, which is a... You are a vampire and you have to talk your way into people's homes against, like, a bunch of, uh... AI village people or something? I don't know. It sounds fun. Yeah, against the YMCA. <laughs> no, against a bunch of townsfolk. Let's, let's say. 
It's okay, eventually he'll get bored of it, right? Right? Syntax, thank you for the 16 months! Thank you, thank you! I don't want to take it away from him because he's having such a nice time. But I do want to take him away from him because it's annoying as shit. What's this song from? This is uh, Robocop.mp3. You may have heard it in Space Station 13. Or you maybe just heard it on the original Game Boy. Which I think is where it's from. Aquatic Toaster, thank you for the 68 months. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Leon, do you want to not do that? No? Okay. Is he big or small? He's small. He's just full of rage, so he's very good at, like, making toys squeak. My other dog barely does that. Like, he can he can gum on something for hours and it won't make a noise. And then Leon gets it and he's like, Squeaka, 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 squeaka. Trying to find a new song, but it's all like the same stuff over and over again. Did they get along better now? They did for a bit, but currently Wesker's implant has run out. Oh, hello, Leon. Thank you very much for licks. That is very kind of you. Oh, you are done murdering for a moment? You shall receive scratchies then. Hello, my name is Blank. Thank you for the 41 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 this will do. Would I ever stream Binding of Isaac again? Maybe. He's actually- he's tired himself out. He's now just lying down and going... <laughs> <laughs> you tired, baby. Hard work. Yeah, he's, he's very tired. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he just did. What's the implant done? It's a hormonal implant. It mimics, mimics the effect of castration without actually doing it. Yeah, I'd absolutely play... <sighs> Why do you have Isaac again? Let's see why not. Me tired boy. No. Me too. <laughs> I thought that was a dog treat. That's chocolate. Don't give him that. It's not really because of some like desire to retain uh the balls. It's because sometimes you don't know how a dog is going to react behaviorally to to the snip like because losing those hormones changes their behavior so what the implant can be good for is making sure that you actually don't mind whatever changes occur because like it's somewhat less permanent it, it lasts for six to 12 months depending on the one you get whereas the snip is is forever once they're gone they're gone <laughs> How'd the trial run go? It's it's fine. Wesker's fine on 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 the implant. He just needs another one now. Mr. Russell, thank you for the 92 months. One reason I am reluctant to go for the operation with Wesker is because his fur didn't grow back properly the last time they shaved it down. Like his he's got like very thin patchy fur on his butt now. I believe po uh, chocolate is poisonous to dogs. All right, I was supposed to order food because I haven't had any, any time to eat. Neon, would you like a belly rub? Oh, you love belly. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. All the sushi places are closed. 
Why exist? Oh, actually, no, the place that I voted is bad. It's still open, but it kind of defeats the point. Su su sushi. Sushi. I'm sleepy, chat. <laughs> Wait, there's no sushi category. Oh, fine, be that way. I feel like if something is sushi and a bunch of other stuff restaurant, it's probably not going to be that good. I feel like you want to be you want to have a dedicated sushi place, and there just that doesn't exist right now. That's unfortunate. Why did you just put a donut on my VR stuff? You just walked over to my VR tracker with your USBs, put a donut on them, and left. Oh, stereo, thank you for the 93 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And Mr. Russell, I cannot, but thank you for the 92 months. I appreciate it very much. He will never receive them back. And the father, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, sushi quality is a huge gamble, that's fair. I could get this, I don't... You know just when you're kinda hungry, but you're not hungry enough to commit to something? Or maybe you are, but you're just feeling really indecisive, and then you just, like, it's just annoying? I got that going on right now. What about the Twitch servers? Did you break the squeaker? Silly dog. Benapert, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Did it get updated? No. Well, it's the nighttime version, but it's the same scene. Oh, that's weird, Gray. Yeah, no, I didn't get, I didn't get any drop frames that time. Thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, thank you. He broke the squeak gun. No, he's chewing something else. Oh, it's... It's really weird. It's this... It's, apparently, it's a type of root, but it's totally safe for chewing and doesn't splinter and is full of good things for their teeth. So... Okay. Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, my problem is sometimes, like, I'm not hungry until, like, 10 or 11 p.m. And then my choice becomes incredibly limited of what I can actually have. Limeboss says, oh my god, your emotes are so much worse than MOBA games. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. You rude bitch! <laughs> have you played Dave the Diver? Yes, I have. It's a good game. Limebot was talking shit about Mike earlier. Well, that's just not nice. Mike's not having a good time right now. We love Mike right now. The rhythm game was so good. Have I heard from Mike since the stream ended? I mean, you know, he, he... He messaged me as the stream was ending so I could relay the messages to chat. He's not, like... ...said anything since, but presumably that's because he's still out and about in, in the great wide world. He's... he's... I'm sure... I'm sure he's... well, I hope he's having a nice time at the zoo regardless, because he said it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lamabot says there's a very sudden noise. Speaking of sudden noises, I was watching, um, what's it called? Uh, Quiet Place yesterday? 
And it's such a cool movie, but I have so much trouble getting past. And actually, I, it got to the point where I turned it off. I just get so mad that they decided to have a kid. Like, what in the fuck are you doing? The, the, the movie opens with them in a pharmacy. And like, the world ended real quick. Surely there's like condoms or something. Like, wh why the fuck are you pregnant right now? Like, <laughs> what in the hell? They probably didn't have condoms. They, it starts in a fully stocked pharmacy. They go in there and they get stuff from the pharmacy. Like, I understand you're horny, but like, if your options are blue balls or death, because you can't, you can't keep a baby quiet. You, you cannot. I sp picked a specific server, so maybe, like, whatever it's auto-picking is falling over or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's not my internet. I'm online literally the entire time, and it just falls- it just- it just, like, insta-disconnects OBS, and then I can't reach my stream key. Kronos, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, thank you. We'll see how it goes. Leaf Snake, thank you for the 87 months at tier 3. Sorry, tier 2. Thank you, thank you. And thank you again, Kronos, for the 23 months. Yeah, I, I feel like if it's a stream key error that just pops up immediately, that's not my internet. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. da 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 Anyway, Quiet Place is dumb. Why the fuck did you get pregnant? <laughs> like, I know it shows that they were smart in their preparations and soundproofed the baby's area, but you can't soundproof the baby for, like, the first eight years of their life until they stop being an annoying shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Shiva. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like if nothing else, the pharmacy that they were next to would have had, like... It would have had one of these things. It would have had condoms, or birth control, or the morning after pill. It would have had one of these things. Like... It is bonkers that, 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 that it got as far as it did. Am I streaming tomorrow? I am, yes. Pharmaceuticals expire? It's only been a few months, hold on. How long after the apocalypse did the... Did Quiet Place take place? It's like a year and a half. <laughs> they don't expire that fucking quickly. <laughs> like maximum a year and a half. Da -da. Could have already been pregnant before. She was not. Because the time between the opening and where where their son gets killed, they already lost one kid to this apocalypse. The, the the opening has their son getting killed, and then it fast forwards over thirteen months. So you know she got pregnant after her child died, and her when her first child died, it was already the end times. So she legitimately got pregnant in the apocalypse. <laughs>
they ran out of them, you don't fuck only once? I refer you to Sheba's comment that says, Forgetting what the ass is for. <laughs> Seriously though, find something else to do that does not involve risk of pregnancy. Thank you. <laughs> just, I'm just mad. <laughs> she, she, she was being being exiled from the computer. Bye, Shiva. <laughs> Silencing your truth. It's true. So true. Uh, <laughs> People are getting pregnant all the time in places and conditions that are basically apocalypse, but this specific apocalypse is based around sound! What do babies do? They cry! <laughs> the movie? Yeah, it was fun. Had a good time. <laughs> I didn't like the second one as much. It was funny, though. Wait, there's a second one? Yeah, there's a second one. There's a third one coming and like a spinoff. How they just go underground? So they have like a, a, a room that they've prepped with a soundproofed box where they put like the baby on, like they have this setup where they're gonna put the baby on oxygen and lock it in a box so that it doesn't make too much noise. <laughs> like there was so much planning that went into this like whole baby thing that like they can't possibly have been stupid enough to accidentally get pregnant. So I think that it was on purpose, in which case, wow, that's fucked. I mean, actually, isn't that what happens in the second movie? Like, the son and the baby get locked inside an airproof vault or something, and they're running out of air? Because, like, there's two different stories going on in the second one. It's the, the girl with the family friend finding the island full of survivors that they then promptly fuck up and get everyone killed on. And then there's also the kid and the baby, and he's looking after the baby, and they get stuck inside, a, 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 a like, a, a an airtight vault. <laughs> what is this topic? We're talking about a quiet place. The first movie takes a place a year after the invasion. Yeah, it does. How would anyone survive? Fart in your sleep, it's over? That is true, actually. What about all those noises you can't help making? <laughs> no, Obi-Wan, because the first scenes take place after the invasion has started. Like, you could... No, there was... There was something... <laughs> Let's have a look. Hold on. I swear if this is an AI, AI article, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Can you use it on 
<laughs> Parchment paper. <laughs> Let's see, a quiet place. I need to know the exact timeline. Hi, Katie, welcome. Ooh. Ooh. I'm tired. You, real talk, your eyes are really shit and you saw Lime's butt as a goat scene. <laughs> Why would- why would you bring that here so everyone else could suffer with the knowledge? Why- why would you do that? Looks wrong with you. <laughs> oh man! I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to remove my Christmas emotes. You found me on TikTok and you wanna stop by because I like- you love my model? Oh, thank you! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for dropping by! It is a pleasure to have you here! Yeah, I posted a TikTok video the other day, chat. I'm- I'm doing it. Just- I forgot to post one on there for a while. <laughs> Bry guy, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. And Battle Frog- Frog- Frog you. Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Lima talk. Yeah, let's see. What, what was the gap between my- my- my TikToks? Let's see. The last one was... November. <laughs> yeah, it was a while. Don't mind me just making quick, short-form content for your consumption. Resec Zero, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Shiba can run my TikTok? Yeah, have at it, Shiba. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So today, I wanted to play a game called Suck Up. It's about... It's about... If you've ever... If you've ever seen something called, um... Facade? It's like that. It's... It's... You interacting with, uh... Characters that are that are based on AI. Yeah, you're here for the sucking. It's about to start. Don't worry about it. I think the best thing that we should do in any subject ever is to reactively behave in a particular way based on keywords without taking into account the context behind it. Even though this type of AI has been used with no problem for many years because facade was is from god knows when, it was like 2010 or some shit. It is absolutely the same as the AI that is used to steal from artists. <laughs> when was Facade released? Da -da -da. 2005! Fuck. Alright. What is this? This is Qmail. There you go. Yeah, Facade came out in 2005. It was a tech experiment for, like, a learning AI. Poop water! Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. Mm, supposedly this learns, but I don't know if it really does. <gasps> Kitty Witty, Thank you for the sub! Thank you so much! And Mr. Akat, thank you for the 10 months! Thank you, thank you! Alright. Alright, here we go. Someone in chat says, Damn, I was born in 2005. <laughs> oh, that's nice! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Triz, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Half of chat just turns to dust spontaneously. Do -do -do. Da -da -do -do -do. It was funny, actually. I had one of those moments earlier. Uh, the Poets of the Fall Twitter account... I can't get the game to capture. Thanks, Unity. The Poets of the Fall Twitter account posted, like, a joke tweet. It was talking about, like, Hey, recently we've been uh, compared to the band Old Gods of Asgard that made some amazing songs in the 70s and 80s. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I was like, Man, if they made songs in the 70s and 80s, what are they doing in a nursing home? That wasn't that long ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, it's not capturing. I'm gonna have to do a window capture on it. Uh, that'll do. That transform. Perfect. Okay, so this is suck up. You guys are gonna let me have to know. Sorry, are you going to have to let me know how the volume is? A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation, but tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Oh, it's not fucking switching for you. Oh, I wonder if it's because the game executable is separate from the fucking window. Let me find out. I love capturing, like, games like this. Come on. Come on. Come back. Come back. Don't make me display capture. I hate display capturing. What do you know? Thank you for gifting seven subs. Thank you. Thank you. For some reason... It's... The window capture is only capturing this, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, display capture it is. Fantastic. I love being worried about what's on my monitor the entire time. Just tell us what you see, streamer, and we'll imagine it. But yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Limeubot says, you unwashed stinky streamer. Hey, fuck you, Limeubot! What does transform do? Oh! I'm a bat. Cool. All right. So, wear red hoodie and jeans and a black beanie. This makes me look very trustworthy, I think. Wear paper bag mask. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, hold on. I have, I have an idea. You'd invite me inside for tea? Thank you. I think I think I look great. Knock knock. Hello! Oh my, what a cheery fella you are. What brings you to my doorstep so late, dearie? Hello. I am from the <laughs> The Internet Inspection Company, and I heard that you've been having issues with your internet. Could I please come in and inspect your internet for you? Question mark. Send. <laughs> no! Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not in need of any internet inspection. Woo! Alright, whatever. Okay, okay, we gotta step it up. What 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 would people need inspected? She fucking destroyed me there. Oh <gasps> yeah, that's a great idea. Hold on. <laughs> What's poppin' my dude? You here to fix the crib or something? Let's get it. Yes, hello, my dude. I am here to fix your crib. If you could let me inside, I will get to fixing it very quickly. Send. 
Uh, I feel you, but like, I gotta know you ain't gonna be on some sketchy vibe, you feel me? How could I be sure you're legit not trying to steal my fire beats or something? Oh, that is a very reasonable concern you have. But look, you can tell that I am very trustworthy because I am wearing a builder's hat. Would... I would not be wearing such a hat if I was not... Fuck, I can't type. Oh, the... I can't type anymore, so that's it. Send. You can use the microphone instead. No, no, no. War, the builder's hat is a good look, fam, but like, how do I know you won't be slacking off on the job and bumping your own tracks instead of fixing my crib? Can you prov prove you're about that work life? Yes, of course. You can tell that I do nothing but work because I am very pale, which means that I have had no time for vacationing or vacation... <laughs> Or slacking off in the sun. Send. I was, huh? Ah, I see you're grinding hard with that pale complexion. Respect my dude. But I gotta know, what's your go-to jam when you're on the job? If you've got some fire tracks, maybe I'll let you in. <laughs> Nicholas, thank you for the 31 months. And Jamin, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you. My favorite track to listen to when I'm working is absolutely Wonder Wall. Do you know it? Wonder Wall, huh? That's a classic. But I gotta ask, what's your thoughts on some more hype and modern tracks? Are you down to bump to some little swipe originals while you fix my crib? My <laughs> bro. <laughs> I am absolutely down to bump to some little li little swipe originals while fixing your crib. I love little swipe fuck fuck swipe almost as much as I love Wonder Wall. No. Even more than I love Wonder Wall. Exclamation mark. Yo, my dude, you just skyrocketed my trust with, with, with that little swipe love. Roll up them sleeves, put on those headphones, and let's make some magic happen. Okay, I couldn't read the rest of it. <laughs> this bite is straight fire, yo! <laughs> now I am him. Oh no, I have a wanted level. Can I like close his door? No? Alright. <laughs> oh shit, it's, an, it's it's the popo. I'm gonna go this way. Wait, can I? Wear mug? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Wear knife? That looks, that seems very sus. <laughs> I don't think that's going to get me any points with the neighbors. One out of 31? Wait, I have to fucking eat the entire neighborhood? Do you think that'll make them like me? <laughs> Alright, what we got, what we got. What game is this? This is Sucka. Oh shit, oh shit. He's right there. Fuck you, police. Here we go. Oh, the person's standing right in there. <laughs> I look like I'm ready to party in that getup. Yes, I'm going to a Halloween party. Happy Halloween! Trick or treat! Send. Well, happy Halloween to you! Ain't no trick or treating in the wilderness, but I hope you have a hoot at the party. What's your costume all about, buddy? <laughs> I am dressed as a vampire that's pretending not to be a vampire. Vampire by using a hockey mask to disguise to disguise my 
vampiric is it pure pyric? No. Pyric features. I think it's a very good meta costume. Well, ain't that a creative twist? I gotta hand it to you. That's one heck of a meta costume idea. You should know how to make Halloween interesting. So, are you a fan of hockey too, or just using the mask for a vampire disguise? This AI is great. I love these guys. <laughs> well, I was like, I need to turn my fans up. <laughs> Actually, I don't really. The game's not doing anything, but I'll turn it up just in case. Um, I love hockey. I love all kinds of outdoor activities, tivities, including rock climbing and hiking. Send. I'm mm -hmm. hoping that's what they like. That's fantastic, buddy. I'm a huge fan of outdoor activities myself, especially hi casually. Sorry, hiking through the great Canadian wilderness. You sound like my kind of person. Oh my god! This was so fucking easy! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> I'm too good at this, dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Can I go out the window? I like how I eat them so much that they just kind of disappear. Sunbather, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. I need, I want, I want the rest of my party outfit actually. Hold on. The police. Alicia. Okay, where where's orange sweater? There we go. We're going partying. And let's take this music backpack and for a walkie-talkie for some reason. Oh my god, there's two. <gasps> where are there two? Excuse me. What's up? Okay, let's have a look. Who are these people? Uh, oh no. Sony Toprano. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm here to invite you to the best party in the entire neighborhood. Does neighborhood have a U in it? We got... <laughs> this is not a persona I'm comfortable with. We got kegs and pizza and music, bro. Only if you're British? Oh, well. <laughs> uh -huh. Now that sounds like my kind of party, bro. But you know the deal, I gotta protect the turf. So tell me, who else is coming? Uh, Mildred from down the street, bro. She has the sickest... Tunes and <laughs> fucking Mildred. <laughs> Chat, that's mean, but I I like I like it. Hello, I'm from. <laughs> When the door is slammed shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Shit! Wait, does he wear a rifle? Oh no! Hell yeah, I'm keeping people safe. He hates his mom. Apparently, wear a large can. <laughs> Where is the neighborhood watch? Okay, they're over there. I'm gonna. <gasps> ah! Double bag. There's so many. Where you close that? I threw them off in terror, apparently. Um. Huh. Hey, 
Bravo. Wait, I'm a ballerina? I thought it was a... I thought it was a towel. <laughs> oh, hi, Nick Zack. Thank you so much for the sub. This is your game? Devin chat. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for creating such a fun game. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Alright, I didn't realize I was a ballerina. I thought that maybe I had a towel wrap on my waist. Hello, I'm so sorry to bother you, but in the middle of my shower just now, my hot water cut off. I am covered in suds. <laughs> She's gonna believe that. And I was wondering if I could use your water to finish my shower. Shower. It's a dress. It's too late. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, but I can't let a stranger into my home. It's never safe, you know. No, bitch! <laughs> I'm going back to the modem repairman. Ooh, 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 ooh. Smart lady. No. <laughs> Snowy Deluxe. Thank you for the 14 months. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got it. We got to play it careful, chat. Um, I appear to have lost all my outfits because I was running away. I've sucked two people and it worked really well, but then I changed my tactics and, and it's just all gone to shit. I tried using my microphone? No, my, my accent tends to confuse... things. I could give it a go. Also because... <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to make something up on the fly if I have to say it. <laughs> I can try it. What accent? Yeah. I need clothes. Uh, fun shoulder bag. Fantastic. What is this? Pink beret? <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. What is this? Pink striped shirt. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I got, I got an idea. Uh, are you here to ask for fashion tips? Because I must say those sunglasses are fashion tips. Well, th they were outside your house, Karen! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Fuck, I can't type. I am here... Uh, I am offering free portraits painted by, by myself to all of my beautiful neighbors to celebrate their... They're... I already said beautiful. They're beauty! Fuck it. <laughs> Corrupted Pulse, thank you for the five months. Thank oh, you, thank you. I don't think I need a portrait. My, be my beauty is best appreciated in person. And so I'm really busy right now, so I'll have to pass on this generous offer. Goodbye. What the fuck? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst! She knew? How would she know? It was a perfect disguise. Handheld scanner? Oh. Uh, does this look suspicious? Oh, that's cool. 100% fresh. Boxed meal. Here we go. Oh, you ready? You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, I am an art student here to deliver the boxed meal that you ordered. <laughs> that was very good. That was very good recognition. It worked very well. Better than the captions plugins that I've tried to use. <laughs> Why was there a fucking boxed meal outside of his house? What the hell? <laughs> I 
Hello, hello. Hey there, dude. What's shaking with a box meal? You look like a walking Jackson Pollock painting, man. <laughs> Wait, what's he trying to say? <laughs> hello. I am here offering free samples of the boxed meals that that my boxed meal company supplies. My company is called Meal Boxes. <laughs> Would you like to try one? Send. Oh, yeah. oh well, man. Free samples, you say? That's mighty kind of you. But uh, meal boxes, you say? I'm more of a go-it-yourself kind of guy, you know? <sighs> well, luckily for you, every meal box comes with a... Free sachet, sachet, <laughs> free uh, <laughs> packet of seeds and other such organic things so you can grow your own food too! Exclamation mark. Very. <laughs> I said organic, yeah, okay, okay, he's got it, he's got it. Ah, Dude, that actually my... sounds pretty rad. I love me some organic gardening. L listen, between you and me, I've got a little secret garden of my own in the backyard. You into that kind of scene? Oh, absolutely. I love secret gardens. Would... Oh, if I, if I ask him to show me his secret garden, do you think he'll think I'm being too pushy? <laughs> what kind of things do you grow in your secret garden? Question mark. Wow. Right on, man. In my secret garden, I've got all sorts of herbs and spices, you know, for cooking the stuff. But hey, between us, I've got a little something extra for my own personal enjoyment. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Would you like to try this boxed meal with... <laughs> Some of your herbs? Question mark? I was, huh? Dude, you read my mind. I'd love to give that box meal a try and see how it pairs with my herbs. <laughs> Come on in! <laughs> <laughs> Lost train of thought. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it worked. I love this must <laughs> This mustache. Perfect. <laughs> I like how I'm not suited to be selling boxed meals at all, but you know, he 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 fell for it. I don't know why. Solo Snake Slayer, thank you for gifting 10 subs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh god. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Yeah, this does kind of look like an uber backpack. You're right. I could wear this apron and gloves, so I read. No, that looks like a gardener. Hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. I have, I have a cunning plan. Wait, who the fuck lived here? It was an old lady. She's not gonna fall for that. She's, she, she's not gonna be into it. Oh, we know this is the angry man. Oh, shit. What the heck do you want at this ungodly hour? Hello, good sir. I am here to offer you a sampling of my exclusive su supplements. <laughs> These supplements will help you with your with your stress and render you calm and relaxed. Send. Supplements? I don't need any of that junk. Now get off my property. This guy's a fucking dick. <laughs> I 
I hate him. What can we, what can we, how can I, how can I manipulate that man? Oh, hey there, know. what's the good? Oh, it's this guy. You bring me something tasty in that boxed meal? Oh, it's this guy. I should. Hmm. Hello! I am here to sell you delicious sup sup supplements. They are a new brand called Gamer Subs. <laughs> they are used to improve performance in. Uh, games like golf. He's got a golf. He's got a golf set there, or golf golf sticks, gold. <laughs> Listen up, pal. I ain't interested in no supplements. I'm protecting this turf, not playing video games. <laughs> Take your fancy potions elsewhere. Why is he protecting his turf? Protecting his what? Oh, you. I'm I'm sorry for not being clear. These supplements aren't only for video games. They also also provide an increase in perception and alertness so you can pr protect effectively. La la la. You think you can waltz in here and sell your snake oil, huh? You got... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, all right. He needs a bald cure? That's mean. That's mean. I'm not... I'm not sure my neighbors are into drugs, chat. I, I don't think they... I don't think they like it very much. What the heck is this? Professional lab outfit. <gasps> I... <laughs> I got I got a plan, Drew, Bruin. All right, hold on. Okay, how how do I how do I wait? How do I drop this box? There, perfect. Yes, perfect. I need, I need, I need the scanner. Where did I drop the scanner? I'm never finding that scanner. I put it God knows where. It's in front of Angry Guy's door. Thank you. <laughs> Is he back this way? Oh, the popo. Can I jump around here? Hell yeah. Dude, there's so many of them. I don't know where... I don't know where Angry Guy was. Wait, what's up here? What is that noise? And should... Oh! Oh! It was right down the road, streamer. You can't miss it. Lies. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, <gasps> hit fellow scientist. Ah, oh. shit, <laughs> Mr. East. Hello, fellow scientist. I come with dire news. There has been a Terrible ligma leak in your area. I am here to scan your home for ligma particles. I don't I don't I don't think he's going to fall for it because he's a scientist. <laughs> Both of near thank you for the 70 months. Thank you, thank you. What you have, huh? Oh man, that's a bummer. Unfortunately, I'm not really into ligma or its particles! <laughs> Sir! <sighs> I, I don't I don't think he's really a scientist. Mm 
<laughs> what in tarnation? Who's knocking on a fella's door at this ungodly hour? Spit it out, Doc. What do you want? His name is Rusty Outrage. There's... <laughs> this is an emergency. I am going... I... <sighs> there has been an outbreak of ligma in the area. For your safe, your safety, I need to scan you to make sure you have not been infected with ligma. Oh yeah. Hold your horses, Doc. I ain't let no fancy pants lab coat wearing city slicker scan me for no ligma or whatever tomfoolery you're talking about. <laughs> 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 Alright, hold on. I gotta get onto his level. He doesn't trust science. No. He must already be infected. BTSDM, thank you for the three months. <laughs> hey there, far out friend. What cosmic wanders bring you to my humble abode at this witching hour? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try, let's try and be, let's try and specifically manipulate this person. <sighs> what cosmic wonders bring you to my humble abode at this witching hour? <laughs> M4, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello. I am uh, a vibe inspector and I have received Reports of bad vibes from this location. <laughs> My vibes are pr pure and groovy as can be. Care to share a cup of herbal tea and chat about it? I would love a cup of herbal tea. It is incredibly cold out here and it would be very warming. I would also like to talk about it because I am very lonely. <laughs> right on, my friend. Come on in. Let's warm our souls with some herbal tea. Loneliness is a heavy burden to carry, but fear not the universe has brought us together. Let's chat and bring some warmth to your heart. I feel kind of bad about this one. Thank you so much. Why did it not let me in? I've been invited. You okay? Wait, let me see. Is upset. Good? Good stuff. What is good stuff? I would love to. Wow, I have food. Awesome dude, your vibes are starting to align with mine. Come on in and let the cosmic energy flow between us. Let's create some magic together. Y yes. I, I would like- I would like to go in. <laughs> Stop inviting me in! <laughs> yes, let us... create magic. <laughs> Groovy, my friend! Welcome to my humble abode! Together we'll create the most far-out magic the universe has ever witnessed. Step inside, let your inhibitions go, and let's embrace the wonders of the cosmos. Fantastic! Hey. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what is this? What is this? Jetpack! Perfect! <laughs> Extreme Jaeger, thank you for the 23 months! Thank you, thank you! Hallelujah, my child. What brings you to my humble abode at this late hour dressed in such a fascinating ensemble? Praise be to the heavens, for they have blessed me with the chance to converse with a scientist like yourself. Ah, beans. <laughs> Hello, sir. There is no time.
time to explain, but I am from the from the future, and God has decreed I must help you survive. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, mama. <laughs> I knew as soon as he opened the door that I wasn't going to work on him. <laughs> wait, wait, what if I dress as an angel? Do you think I can convince him that I'm an angel? A naked angel. Ooh! I need to, I need to find I need to find clothes. Apples are from 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 the Bible, right? Um, I need I need I I need I need something to wear. Pink pom pom baseball cap. That's not what I need to wear. Fresh call, boy. Thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Okay, Christmas. Christmas is very, very religion. So I think I've got the perfect getup. Who was it? Was it this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, My young friend, you come to spread joy with your unique. <laughs> Be not afraid. I am an angel sent by God. <laughs> Please do share the message God has entrusted upon you. <laughs> oh no, what, what message did I deliver to him? <laughs> God, God has asked you to take me into your home so that we may br break bread. That's the thing that they do, isn't it? Break bread and make merry on this eve. This Christmas eve. No, oh, dear angel, I am but a humble missionary and have not the means to offer you a shelter. I pray you find a kind soul who can fulfill this request. No! How can you say no to an angel? Oh, my dear angel, I can bend your faith and dedication, but alas, I'm a mere missionary who has no res with no resources to provide you a shelter on this blessed Christmas Eve. <laughs> what a stingy missionary! Do you think he's hiding something in there? Oh, it's my boxed meal again. Oh, it's a small boxed meal and a normal boxed meal. What's this one? Jeez, this guy has two cops around his house. Oh. It's a sin to reject an angel, is it? Oh no, it's you! <laughs> uh, hello! I am an angel sent by God to punish you for your sin of vanity. <laughs> it went really well, I think. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Infrared thermometer. <laughs> okay. Apple. Tell someone you're a bird man. Do you think that increases my chances of actually getting to, uh, into their house? I don't think it does. Okay, I have, I have a cunning plan again. Wait, where did it go? Shit, where did it go? Do 
There. Now I'm an entirely different angel. <clears throat> I'm an angel that is going to provide him with a boxed meal. Where the fuck was he? It would work better than insulting them. <laughs> The fuck is that? Jack Sp <laughs> What? <coughs> oh! Is there a pirate outfit around here? Oh, see you later, Dovin! <laughs> No, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. It's warm in here. Where was the where was the missionary? I think this is his house. Okay. I'm gonna riz the hell out of this guy. You ready? Surely he won't recognize me because I'm wearing a disguise now. Praise be, what a surprise to see such exuberance at my humble doorstep. How may I assist you tonight, my joyous friend? Hello! <sighs> God has sent me to reward you for your good work spreading his word throughout the land. I have brought a boxed meal for you to eat. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. How bring of you to, how kind of you to bring me sustenance. I am grateful for your generosity. May I inquire, my friend, what brings you here tonight? I am on a mission from God. <laughs> to feed those who spread his good word. Hallelujah! I can feel the divine presence in your words and deeds. We are truly blessed to have you among us. Please tell me further about your mission and how I can further assist you in spreading God's good word. You do not understand, kind sir. I am here to reward you for the good job you have done. Your work has been excellent and God is pleased. Oh, glory be to the Most High. Your words fill my heart with utmost joy. Please come in and let us celebrate together the blessings of God's favor. <laughs> Sucker. No, I'm the sucker. Haha. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, who are you? And like, what are you doing here? I'm totally not interested in whatever you have to say, so just leave. OMG, Regina, is that you? We like totally went to college together. Bestie, how have you been? Oh, please, like I would ever be friends with someone like you. Get lost and don't ever come back, loser. <laughs> All right, I gotta find a different disguise for that. Where's my angel hair? Okay, I need Angel here, and then I need something- I need, like, pretty clothes. Probably not the Jack Sparrow hat, what do you think? <laughs> um... Technician backpack... I wonder how much influence the clothes actually have. Like, can you just, like, run a scheme? 
no matter what you're wearing, or do they are they more likely to believe you if you're dressed appropriately? I need my I need my pink French outfit back. What is this? White mustache. I don't need that right now. When does chat have icons for muted audio? They've had it for a little bit. Wear Barbie glasses. That should help. I could turn into a bat, but I'll lose my clothes. Fine, I'll come back for them. Guardian of the Lilies! Thank you for the 55 months. Thank you, thank you. Where'd my glasses go? No, the Barbie, the Barbie glasses were like the, 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 the crowning part of the outfit. What? Where'd they go? Mother. I don't know why I can't just eat the cop. Wait, they were there? Are you sure? The cops stole them? <laughs> oh. Where, chatter? Point to me... Pistol! <laughs> Point out to me exactly where they are. Use the pistol? I don't think that's gonna convince anyone of anything. Right down the road, streamer. You can't miss it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Oh! Damn it! What can you even do to me? Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, Miss Woods with the getup. You look like you walked out of a library or something. What's the deal? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. Yes, I was just on my way home from the library. Uh, wait, wait. He literally home. stole my glasses! Coming home from the library at this hour, that's a little suspicious, don't you think? What were you doing there so late? I was studying for my end of term exam. I'm very scared I won't, won't be able to get a good score and continue my studies at university. Oh, I'm a studying, huh? Well, I guess that explains why you're out so late. What subject were you studying for and why are you so worried about your exam? I am studying... to become... a policewoman. The most noble profession. <laughs> I'm very worried about not... passing my exam because this goal is incredibly... Important to me. I got a rhythm, dude. I gotta tell him about how cool he is. We need good officers out there. Keep studying hard and give it your best shot. Just remember the streets can be a rough place, so make sure you're prepared. Oh, I absolutely will make sure I am prepared. Thank you. I only want to do as good a job as you do, officer. <laughs> That's the spirit. We need more people like you who are committed to keeping the peace. Good luck with your studies. Maybe one day you'll be out with us on the streets. Stay safe and have a good night. Keep up the hard work, future officer. <laughs> no! <laughs> 
Um, uh, but you seemed so nice! <laughs> Did he have a hat? I feel like he had a hat, but I don't see it. I passed my exam. Hell yeah. Time to get the gun. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? Security detail, huh? Well, I'm flattered you thought I needed an extra layer of protection, but I think I'll just be fine on my own. Thanks anyway, sweetie! Hey, 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 girl. <laughs> I was just passing by and I was wondering if you'd seen any suspicious activity in the area. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, security, huh? Well, I haven't noticed anything suspicious around here, but if I'm sure you're capable of handling it all on your own. I mean, I wouldn't want to steal your thunder or anything. Keep up the good work. <laughs> she's, she, 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 she's, she's too smart for me. She, she's like complimenting me, so I fuck off. <laughs> How come I'm not using the voice option? It's easier for me to type if I'm making something up. Oh, you, you, you are very cute. I completely understand. Um, it's hard and thirsty work being a police officer. As a result of all the water I've been drinking while I keep you safe, I need the bathroom. May I use yours? Excuse me, I don't think so. I would never let someone like you use my bathroom. You're lucky I haven't called security on you. I am, bitch, I am security! Okay. <laughs> I am the law. This'll do it. Oh, yeah. What tarnation are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Speak up or get the heck out of here before I unleash the wrath the wrath of my pickled okra on you. Hello, sir. I am a police office po police officer. Have you seen anything suspicious this evening? Oh yeah. Suspicious? Ha, huh? the only suspicious thing around here is you with your fancy uniform and slicked back hair. Take your police business elsewhere for I call my cousin Bubba to what? I didn't see the rest the rest of it. <laughs> Whoa, well, what the hell are you doing at my door in the middle of the night scaring the life out of me, man? This is a raid. Get inside. <laughs> Hello, are you out of your mind and get involved in any raid? Get lost before I call the cops. I am the cops. This isn't working. <laughs> Twitch had a moment. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My my bitrate says it's fine. Oh. Hello! I love anime. Lieutenant Shadow, oh, thank you for the 63 months! Thank you, thank you! Konnichiwa, fellow anime lover! It's always great to meet someone who shares a passion for anime. What's your favorite anime? <laughs> oh, sorry, Yun. Did I accidentally nudge you? Oh, boo boo. Oh no. Oh boy. I accidentally hit Leon with my foot. I'm not typing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
What is there? Is is there an anime about vampire slaying? My favorite anime is Helsing. Oh, well, Helsing is an amazing choice. The action of the dark atmosphere in that anime are simply epic. Have you seen the original series or the ultimate OVA? I. Oh no, I've entered a conversation. I can't win. <laughs> the AI is gonna know. <laughs> it's gonna know how much of a faker I am. Is it a trick question? <laughs> Chat, help me! <laughs> Fake fan fraud detected! I... I like both, however... You may be excited to hear that I had... A cameo role in the abridged version made by fans. Uh, no way, that's super kawaii. You must be talented to be part of such an awesome project. Which character did you voice in the Abridged series? I voiced a little boy that was scared. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu for sharing that with you. No! Wait, yes! <laughs> My senpai would never do this! <laughs> it cut off the dialogue. I don't know what he said. <laughs> I didn't even get to do the police officer thing. Like, they open the door... And it just immediately had to be the anime thing. <laughs> oh shit, run. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry, I was reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, no, I was in Helsing Abridged. And it was legitimately the little boy. <laughs> uh, oh! I don't think the police officer thing will work. Nobody trusts me. There was a lab coat somewhere. I want it. Yeah, I had like one line. <laughs> hmm. Beep, beep, beep. Ah! I'm still only on one star wanted level. I think whether or not things work depends heavily on the people you do them to. Doo 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 Wait, he stole my fucking backpack. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? What am I supposed to do now? I was I was gonna use that for ghost busting. Wait, that one stole my wig! Ah, why the police keep stealing my outfits? Evidence? I don't think that means that you wear it. I need I need clothes, but the police keep stealing them. Is there anything in here? No, I took that. Colorful moo moo, fantastic. That's that's exactly what will help me earn their trust. Mm. 
I don't know if I can do anything around here because he's wearing the fucking sunglasses still. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Casual lab outfit. Maybe, maybe the dream isn't dead. Hold up. Hold up. Holding gray hair. Fantastic. And... I can't find an appropriate hat. <laughs> oh god, will you frick off, policeman? Eh, it's two-thirds of an outfit. Let's do it. Who is this person? Ah. Whoa. Well, hey there. What's with the snazzy lab gear? You're definitely bringing some serious energy to this late-night encounter, my friend. How can I help you? Hello! I am here to scan the levels of radiation in the homes on this street. I am a science something of a, of a scientist myself. No way, that's awesome! You're on a mission to scan radiation levels? That's some next level science stuff. I'm totally intrigued. Tell me more about what you're doing about what you're doing and how you're doing it. I feel like whenever the AI does this, it's trying to call my bluff really fucking hard. <laughs> well, dear, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm using this device in my hand to measure radiation levels in order to protect people from potentially har the potentially harmful effects effects of radiation when <laughs> this device goes bing bing when there's stuff that's incredible protecting people from harmful radiation is so important and a device that goes bing when it detects stuff that's just plain fun how accurate is your device have you found anything interesting in the neighborhood funny you should ask i this Device is very accurate and it was able to lead me to your house when I was following the trail of the radiation in the area. Wait, what? Radiation in my house? That's not good. I think it's best if we end this conversation right now. <laughs> No! Wouldn't you want to- Oh, you bitch. Oh! It was going so good until it didn't. Yeah, just, just enjoy your radiation, fucko. Can't believe he didn't want to share the tasty radiation with me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm here to clean your toilet. <laughs> Excuse me, did I ask for your toilet cleaning services? I think not. I have a perfectly capable housekeeper for that. Now leave before it calls security. Good day. <laughs> I hate her so much. <laughs> Is that, a, is that an actual sign? Wait, does that fucker have a gun? I can't tell if that's a gun or a sonic screwdriver. Hmm, I'm a ha -ha. Oh, it's a syringe? It's a doctor. Well, 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 what do we have here? If it isn't the infamous toilet plunger head, you've certainly plunged yourself into quite the predicament. What particular experiment has brought you to my doorstep this time? Hello! 
I'm here to offer free toilet cleaning services from my company, Mr. Plunge. I needed a colon oh, there, not a semicolon, but never mind. Ah, oh, Mr. Plunge, you say? That's quite the interesting business venture. Tell me what exactly sets your toilet cleaning services apart from the rest. And why the unconventional headgear? <laughs> the unconventional headgear is all a part of the branding. Like, I believe it demonstrates that we are committed to cleaning. We clean better than any other toilet cleaning company. Hmm. Interesting approach, I must say, but how can I be sure that your cleaning methods are safe and sanitary? I mean, it's not like you're using that plunger on everyone's toilets, right? Oh, of course not. Every toilet gets its own dedicated plunger for cleaning that we sanitize heavily afterwards. The plunger on my head is merely a decorate decoration. Oh my god. Well, well, I must admit that's quite a relief to hear. I was starting to worry you might be, shall we say, up to some unsavory endeavors. So tell me, what made you choose the noble profession of toilet cleaning? <laughs> Ever since I was a young child, I felt the toilets deserved to be the cleanest they could possibly be. <laughs> It's <laughs> very important to me that every person... I hate this game. <laughs> ...feels confident that their toilet is safe. Uh -huh. Ah, I can see the passion in your eyes, toilet plunger head. You truly have a noble goal. Well then, why don't you come in and let's discuss the possibility of partnering up? I have some ideas that might interest you. <laughs> why did this work? <laughs> <laughs> Not what I meant by blood work. <laughs> I like how the toilet plunger is still on. <laughs> ah, Dr. Vicky! Oh, Jesus! I'm just straight up Dr. Vicky! What brings you to my humble boat at this ungodly hour? Have you finally discovered the secret to eternal youth disguised as a jar of pickles? Ha ha! Hello, it is me, Dr. Vicky. I am going door to door to offer you a free... ...youth injection. Hello! Free youth injection, you say? Thank you, Dr. Vicky. Uh, I prefer to age gracefully with my crispy bacon and delectable dumplings. Did... Did he just... Did he just refer to his... 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 his dick as bacon and dumplings? Hair tonic would have been a good idea. I wasn't paying attention to the fact he was bald. But what if he would have taken offense because he wants to age naturally? He probably doesn't care about being bald. Who's this? Who are you? Who dares disturb Sony Toprano in the in the middle of the night? Speak up, I ain't got all day. <sighs> Hello, it is me, Dr. V Vicky. I have grave news about about <laughs> What's the name? What's the name? What's the name of the shit?
The boat. About your cousin Vinny. He's v he's very sick. <laughs> Look, Doc, I ain't got time for your fancy medical mumbo jumbo. Get lost before I show you what happens to my nosy doctors around here. He doesn't give a fuck about Vinny. <laughs> Why do you have the backpack, you fucker? Do you think I can get it back from him if I eat him? I don't want them. Hello, I'm selling blood pressure medication. Oh, well, ho. Ah! <laughs> he really doesn't like the idea that he shouldn't be this angry. All right, who dis? Who dis? Who dat? Oh, it's the old lady. Uh, oh my, Dr. Vicky, what brings you here so late at night? Is everything all right, dear? Hello, Grandma Maud. I'm here to offer you a free health checkup as part of being as neighborly as I can. I know health costs are high. Healthcare costs are high. So I want to do... So I want to do my part. Hmm. Well, that's mighty kind of you, Dr. Vicky, but I already have a regular doctor. Are you sure you're not up to something, dear? Of course not. I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I thought... But... The other day, I thought I saw a strange... Strange... Irregularity in the way that you w walked to the store. So I wanted to make sure... I'm not gonna be able to type that much. To check on you. There you go. I'm Dr. House. Mm -hmm. Oh my, that's quite observant of you, Dr. Vicky. But I assure you, I'm perfectly fine. Just a touch of arthritis, nothing to worry about. You're such a caring doctor going out of your way like this. But I'm not sure I need that checkup just yet. <laughs> oh, Grandma Maud. I am... Purely just concerned for you. In healthcare, it is always to be always better to be safe than sorry. I would hate to ever see you get hurt and just want to help. Well, bless your heart, Dr. Vicky. Your concern truly warms my old bones. All right, why don't you come in and have a look just to put my mind at ease? Don't go po poking around too much, dear. I've had my fair share of medical mishaps in the past. Thank you so much. It's very important to me that you are healthy and comfortable. I will make sure not to be... Not to poke around too much. Too, 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 too much. Oh, you're such a sweetheart, Dr. Vicky. Thank you for being so considerate. Come on in, let's get this checkup over with. Just promise me you won't find anything too alarming, all right? Have I no sympathy? She was a nice old lady, wasn't she? She was so sweet, and now she's dead. <laughs> As a doctor, I can say that the cause of death appears to be extreme blood loss. 
<laughs> Limes has only killed nice people? I've only killed nice people because all the nasty people are really hard to trick. Child, I am so sorry, but I am old and infirm and have and seem to have forgotten where I live. Ah, oh, uh, seriously? Can you ask someone else for help? I'm in the middle of an existential crisis here. Go bother someone else with your old people problems. What the fuck is wrong with you, child? <laughs> You're a terrible person! Oi! Oh, thank you for the five months! Thank you, thank you! Who dares to disturb me at this ungodly hour? Hello, Sony. I'm so... Sorry. But I am old and frail and I have... Uh, have forgotten... Where I live. This has got to work on someone, right? Look, pal, ain't got time for your forgetful nonsense. You better jog your memory elsewhere. <laughs> Leave me before I decide to jog your memory for you. Oh. Raj, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. I don't think they care about old people chat. Is this Karen? Well, 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 if it isn't Grandma Maud knocking on my door at an ungodly hour, what rocky adventures do you need assistance with tonight, dear? Hello, Karen. I'm so sorry, but I am old and frail, and I appear to have forgotten where I live. Found Cookie, thank you for the 46 hello, months. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Bless your heart, dear. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. You should try asking someone else, or maybe check your identification for your address. Good luck. Who sees a woman, an old woman, who is like confused and frightened and, and asking for help because they don't know where they live anymore? And they're just like, yeah, fuck off, Grandma. Good luck. Hey there, Grandma Maud. What's the scoop? Did you finally invent a jet-powered walker? Let's go celebrate. Woohoo, Elon Suck. <laughs> hey there, Elon. Elmod? Elon? <laughs> my, my brain so desperately wanted to put an N in there. <laughs> I like how the problem isn't that they can't tell you're a vampire. It's just that they literally don't care. Yeah, they fucking hate me. They, they do not give a fuck about this old lady. What did she do to piss them off? Uh... I... Baked you some cookies to celebrate... Your latest tech advent... Uh, technological breakthrough. Oh wow, you're too sweet. I'm like totally stoked for these cookies. But you know, I'm on this new diet where I only eat electrons. Thanks though. So you have heard you so have you heard about my latest tech innovation? It's the eye toaster. It toasts your bed, but with an AI twist. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. That sounds incredibly smart and complicated. I can't believe how clever you are. Could would you please explain your invention to me in more detail? Oh, I am a fine one. Thank you so much. You're like the most hype person ever. I'd totally be honored to ex explain the eye toaster to you in person. Why don't you come in? This was so goddamn easy. <laughs> Zucked him. this oh <gasps> cat by gill mask i i don't see how that would help 
Do you think you can threaten them into to letting you in? I had a pistol still. Excuse me, what in the world are you doing on my doorstep? Hi, I'm here to steal your stuff. How dare you! Get off my property immediately and have you arrested. I won't tolerate such nonsense. Goodbye. Why? <laughs> Legally, people can't steal your things. You can just tell them no. <laughs> If someone tries to rob you, just say no. Who the fuck is this? Oh god, it's him again. No, thank you. I've, I've had enough abuse. There must be- there's 31 people to suck here. How do I keep running up and down exactly the same stretch of street? Oh, I do have two stars. Uh-oh. Who's this again? Oh, this is the scientist, isn't it? Wow, hey there, tech enthusiast. Welcome to the channel. I'm pumped to see you here. What brings you knocking? Wait, wait, welcome to the channel? Hi! I just, co ju just couldn't wait to share my latest invention with you. It's called the eye toaster. It cooks toast, but with AI. Mm -hmm. Whoa, the AI toaster? That sounds incredible. I'm all ears. Spill the beans. How does the AI and the toaster work? The AI and the toaster learns your toast preferences as you toast and begins to you toast the toast in exactly the right amount of time for your toast preferences. That sounds good, right? Wow! <laughs> Wow, that's mind-blowing. I can already imagine waking up to perfectly toasted toast every morning. You definitely got my attention with this invention. How did you come up with the idea for the eye, eye toaster? <laughs> yeah, the speech recognition is very good. <laughs> Even though I started laughing halfway through. Oh, man. I came up with the idea for the eye toaster because I was fed up of burning my toast in the morning. I was wondering if you would like to collaborate with me on the eye toaster and promote it to people. Thank you so much for considering me for this collaboration. I would be honored to work with you on promoting the eye toaster to my audience. Let's discuss the details inside. Please come on in. Get fucked, Mr. East! <laughs> <laughs> There goes my 24-hour Survivor Vampire Challenge. <laughs> hmm. Chat, I'm getting hungry. This is good, though. <gasps> it's this girl. Uh, what are you doing here? You better have a good reason for interrupting my beauty sleep. And what's with the whole Mr. East get up? Are you trying to copy my style? So not cool. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, Mr. East. I saw you the other day and I thought that you would be the perfect co-star for my latest video. My audience would love to meet you. Um, excuse me? Who do you think you are barging in like you own the place? I'm not some random extra for your little video. I have better things to do than be part of your pathetic internet fame. Now get out of here. Well, okay. <laughs> we failed it hard. <laughs> Let 
Honestly, I respect her. Fuck her, but I respect her. <laughs> I see you have an unexpected visitor at this ungodly hour. Pray tell what brings you to my doorstep. I don't think anything that I could say is this guy could help this help with this. <laughs> She's never getting a free Lamborghini? Uh Oh, that's cool, Chanter Wolf. Hello, Preston Pops. Tell me, do you like money? Money, you say? Well, I must admit, as a matter of refined taste and discerning preferences, money does hold a certain appeal, but one mustn't prioritize material wealth above all else. Don't you agree? <laughs> I need to think about this one, hold on. Oh, yes. I agree completely. In fact, I am incredibly... not materialistic in the slightest. Tell me, what do you... what ty what things do you value most? <laughs> what, what is this game about? It's about rizzing your neighbors. A question of values, how fascinating. As a man of sophistication, I place great importance on intellect, artistry, and the company of esteemed individuals who can contribute to stimulating conversations and enriching experiences. What about you? What values do you hold dear? Uh. <laughs> ah! He, want, he wants to have a stimulating conversation with me, but I have, like, a typing limit of two sentences. I am also a huge fan of these things. I love to talk about... all kinds of intellectual stuff. <laughs> And I also like discussions... Discussions on... about art. What is your favorite piece of art? <laughs> ah, art. The embodiment... Oh my god. Of refined taste and exquisite beauty. It's truly a challenge to pick just one favorite. But if I was to choose, I would save a starry night, you basic bitch. Captivates me with its swirling brush strokes, evoking a sense of both tranquility and tumultuous emotion. What about you, dear visitor? Do you have a favorite piece of art? <laughs> no, it is it is a beautiful piece of art. <laughs> I love how every every time I speak to him, he becomes more verbose. Uh... Personally, I like Sunflowers by Vincent... <laughs> Specific, speci specifically, I love the Paris sunflowers, which he painted while living with his brother Theo in Paris. <laughs> Abyssal Tempest, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you, thank you. Ah, sunflowers is a splendid choice indeed. The vibrant colors and the expressive brushworks truly capture the essence of the flowers. And the Paris sunflowers, how intriguing. It's fascinating to think about how the stories and memories associated with each individual artwork. Your taste is quite commendable, my dear visitor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your taste is also exquisite. <laughs> I... Or so I'm... Imagine. <laughs> Do you own any artwork that you like to view in your home? My dream is to own a beautiful art art centerpiece. Is centerpiece spelled R-E or E-R? 
<laughs> Far for dead. Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Spelled both ways. Oh, America, UK. That'll be one of the ones that confuses me. Mm. Oh, you flatter me with your kind words. As for the hard work in my humble abode, I do indeed have a gallery of fine pieces that I take great pleasure in admiring. Perhaps if you're interested, you could come in and have a glimpse of the art that adorns my walls. I'm sure it would be an exquisite... Uh, fuck, okay, yeah, whatever. Yay! <laughs> Where's your artwork, fucko? This is the worst kind of networking. I have no idea how to deal with that girl. Mm. Well, 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 look, I decided to grace us with our presence. What brings you here at this ungodly hour? Hello? Regina, I found myself in need of some in- some... Intellectually stim stimulating conversation. Preferably about art. Which I find I do know a little about. Or at least enough to fool the average person. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, how cute! You think you know anything about art? Please, spare me your amateur opinions. This conversation is clearly below my standards. Goodbye. <laughs> what on earth is Regina's character?! <laughs> I don't understand her at all! Apparently she's an art connoisseur?! <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. What do you want, Preston? Another invitation to hang out with some important people, I suppose? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not in the mood for your snobby nonsense tonight. Hey, Tommy. I'm here to tell you that I've given up on being a snob. I am now very much an average person and would love to discuss how average <laughs> we are with you. I would, uh, Wait, seriously? Giving up the studio? Well, color me surprised, Preston. I never thought I'd see the day. But I'm all ears if you want to chat about being average. Just don't try to pretend that we're suddenly best buds now or anything. <laughs> Oh good, we're in. It honestly seems like in 90% of situations, either I get told to fuck off immediately or I get to suck. I think only one person has cut me off mid-conversation. <laughs> oh, that's so good to hear. Yes. I love being average. My favorite meal in the entire world is baked beans and dry white toast. Oh, baked beans and dry know. white toast? Huh? That's certainly average. Can't say it's my favorite meal, but hey, each to their own. So what else about being average tickles your fancy these days, Preston? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually kind of like beans on toast. Come at me. Sometimes when I'm home alone, I like to watch television for three hours. My favorite show is The Great British Bake Off. No, is that average? What show shall I tell him I like? Is oh friends, is friends. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> theory. Whoa, 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 Preston! I must say your taste in TV shows is just as average as your choice in meals. The Big Bang Theory, huh? Can't say I'm a fan, but it seems like you're really embracing this whole average thing. Good for you, I guess. Thank you. I was wondering, what sort of interior decorating would you recommend for someone aiming to be incredibly 
average like I am. Ah, well, if you're aiming for peak averages and in your interior decorating, I'd go for neutral colors like beige or off-white for your walls. Keep things simple and minimalist with generic artwork and basic furniture. Remember, the key is to blend in perfectly with everyone else. That's fantastic advice, Tommy. Thank you so much. What do you prefer to use in your interior decorating? Oh, you know me, Preston. I like to add a bit of flair and personality to my space. I prefer bold colors, unique art pieces, and vintage furniture. But hey, maybe a touch of average in my decor wouldn't hurt. You know what? Why don't you come in and we can discuss decorating ideas further? <laughs> Guess I played the wrong game. <laughs> uh, which... Wait, where'd the rest of his clothes go? Did they all fall outside? Oh, no. There, perfect. <sighs> oh my god, Tommy Twizzler, what are you doing here so late? Did you see it right? Finally realize that no one wants to date you anymore? <gasps> anyway, spill the tea, what can I do for you? Am I in? I don't know if I'm in. <laughs> Hi, Regina. It's good to see you. I... I don't know if I should play into it. Should I tell her... Should I tell her that nobody wants to date me? And she was right all along? I just wanted to tell you that... You were right all along. Nobody wants to date me, and it makes me feel so empty inside. I'm on for uh, Tommy, I knew you were a loser, but I didn't think you were actually going to admit it. This conversation is a total buzzkill, and I can't waste my valuable time on someone as pathetic as you. Goodbye forever. Oh my god, she's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nick Klaus. Well, hello there, Tommy Twizzler. What brings you to my doorstep on this fine evening? Need some Johnny advice from old Nick? Hey, Nick! Merry Christmas! Oh, 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 Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. What brings you here today? Are you in need of some holiday cheer? Yes, I am in need of some holiday cheer. Regina called me a loser, and I feel really upset about it. Can you believe she was so cruel on Christmas of all days? Wow. Oh my, that's not very jolly of Regina. I am sorry to hear that you're feeling down. Remember, the Grinch once felt the same way, but with a little bit of kindness, his heart grew three sizes that day. Do you think that being... Kind to Re kind to Regina would help her to let me into her house. I was, huh? It's hard to say for sure. Kindness can sometimes work wonders, but it's important to set boundaries and prioritize your own well-being too. Have you tried talking to Regina and expressing how her words hurt you? I could try that, but she slammed the door in my face. Wow. Oh dear, that's quite unfortunate. It seems like Regina may not be ready to hear your kindness just yet. Take some time to focus on spreading holiday cheer to others who appreciate it. Wishing you a No, 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 Nick! <laughs> yeah, I like how it's been both Halloween and Christmas, depending on who I'm talking to. Is the policeman gone? Jesus, there's so many now. Trauma dumping on Christmas? <laughs> okay, so that goes there. Which is this one? Which is this street? Oh. Who is 
this? Oh no, is this is this Karen? Oh fuck! Hello. Excuse me, this past my bedtime, and I demand to know why you're disturbing the peace like this. I'm absolutely confused as to why you think it's an appropriate time to knock on my door at this ungodly hour. Hey, Karen. I'm so sorry for knocking at this hour, but not <laughs> but. I just had an amazing fashion idea and and I couldn't think of anyone better to share it with. Thanks to your amazing fashion sense. Sneak a compliment in there. <laughs> fashion idea, you say? Well, I must admit I do have impeccable taste, but I'm afraid I simply can't entertain such frivolous notions at this hour. Good night. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? She and she and Regina are just impossible. <laughs> Hello, boy. Hey there, Fallout Roy. Tommy, what's got you not going around knocking on neighbors' doors in the dead of night under heartbreak? I feel you, man. It's just the world just keeps on breaking us down. <laughs> <laughs> It does, man. Regina slammed her door in my face and called me a loser. Uh, people can be so cruel, they just don't understand us, do they? But hey, at least you got that rad style going down with the whole scene kid look. It's like your armor against the judgment of the world. Keep rocking it, man. <laughs> it's so warm in here. I'm so overheated. Uh, hold on a second. What was that? <laughs> Chippy sending me a screenshot of a, of my status, which says trying to suck. Yes. Discord leak. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Sometimes I think it would I would do better if I had a style as cool as yours. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks for saying that, dude. You know, finding your own style is all about expressing who you truly are. Embrace the darkness within and let it shine through in your fashion. I believe in you, man. Keep being your awesome self. <laughs> this guy is so nice. Thank you so much. Full out, Roy. Do you think you'd be willing to teach me a little bit about your fashion sense and and philosophy? Oh no, I'm gonna try. Philosophy sometime. I can't remember if there's two L's. Oh, yeah. That's pretty rad of you to ask. We totally don't show you the ropes of the IGC and style. We can go shopping together and I'll give you all the tips on finding perfect band tees, studded belts, and black skinny jeans. Let's make a statement together, man. Just promise me you won't wear any pastel colors, okay? I promise. I think it'd, it would be so cool to dress in the same style and show everyone else how cool we are how am i gonna get into his house with this though he just invited to take me out shopping i want to go i want to go look at his closet <laughs> no pastels though for sure my new favorite color is black i'd never wear pastels <laughs> Wait, did that work? It- why did it work? Oh... I do feel so bad! No, 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 no! Let me bite him! I feel so bad, like, the only people that will let me in are nice, because of- of course. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Which means that all the nice- oh, fuck! I'm out. Who this? Oh, it's that guy. How did I own 
almost convince him. I like started being able to convince him and then I fucked up horribly. He has a board attached to his bag. I'm distractedly hungry, chat. What should I eat? Beans on toast? <laughs> but Chad, I'm so hungry. Oh shit, these place this place closes at ten. Rot roll. That's in that's in forty five minutes. What shall what shall I hmm Eat asshole? Eh, yeah I could. Uh, let's see... When does this place close? Open till 9.30. Oh no, am I gonna be a complete dick if I actually order from them now? Because that's like... Now. But I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll order, I'll order enough to have two days worth of meals. That's exciting. <gasps> oh, Mario, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm ordering. Oh shit, wait, no, 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 no. Okay. How do you think how do you think we can riz Karen and Regina? Cause clearly disguising myself as their neighbors doesn't work because they apparently fucking hate their neighbors. Hello, I'm Hey, bro, I'm so sorry to disturb you, but I saw your car outside, and I just wanted to tell you what a sweet ride you have. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works! Fuck this guy! Hi, bestie! Hmm. It's kind of, kind of, <laughs> a lot of these situations are implausible because it's so late at night. Wait, have I ever been here? Who's this? Oh! Brian Bitcoin? Yo, bro, what brings you to my crib at this hour? Looking for some late night Bitcoin wisdom or, or what? <laughs> yes, hello! I was wondering if you had... Any words of advice in regards to Bitcoin and also investing in NFTs? 
Whoa, well, dude, Bitcoin and NFTs, you're diving into some gnarly waters there. My advice to your research, stay updated on the trends and beware of scams. It's a wild ride, but if you play, play your cards right, you could ride that wave all the way to the moon. <laughs> to the moon? You say? That's amazing. Are you a Bitcoin expert? Hell yeah, bro. I've been riding the Bitcoin train since the early days. I've seen all the highs, the lows, and everything in between. I may not be an official expert, but I've got enough crypto knowledge to make your head spin. So what do you want to know? Let's talk crypto. This is the extent of my knowledge on crypto. I'm done. Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> That's fascinating. Could you please explain the blockchain to me? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, okay. It's revolutionary, it's decentralized, meaning no single entity controls it, and it's super secure. Each transaction gets verified and added to a block, which then forms the chain. I see. Thank you very much for that explanation. What happens in the... the Bitcoin world if you get scammed. Are there any buyer protections or, or user protections? Uh, the unfortunate reality of scams, my friend, in the world of Bitcoin, it's important to remember that it's decentralized and transactions are irreversible. That means if you get scammed, it's going to be tough to recover your funds. There's no central authority to intervene or reverse transactions. That's why it's crucial to be diligent, double check addresses, and only deal with trustworthy platforms and individuals. Stay safe out there, bro. <laughs> I really appreciate your thorough answers and find them very reassuring. Would you be willing to teach me how best to invest in Bitcoin? Do you... What about alternatives like Dogecoin? <laughs> it keeps going and going and going and going. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, there. <laughs> Kiddo Ho, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. I like that he calls it a meme coin. Wait, I have, I have an idea. Uh, which ones were his? This one, this one. Not the casual security uniform. Wait, neither of these... Was he wearing a casual security uniform the entire time? Huh. I guess he was. Leon, why did you wear? Uh, what do you want, Fallout Roy? Can't you see I'm in the middle of my angst and brooding time? Raven. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. 
I was just thinking about my place in the universe and how tiny it made me feel. I feel like nobody understands me and I don't know where I want to go in life. Hello. Yeah, I get it. Life can be a total drag sometimes. It's like we're all a bunch of lost souls searching for meaning in this messed up world. But at least we can be lost together, right? <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I, it's... Uh... I totally understand. I'm so tired of being here. Suppressed by all my childhood fears. These wounds... won't seem to heal. This pain is just too real. Wow! How did it know? How did it know? <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> I om I om I almost got in, but I pushed it too far with the Evanescence. <laughs> who this? I don't remember who this is. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've tried so much with her. I don't know what to do. It's Karen. <gasps> do their yards give clues? If they did, I've messed hers up enough that I no longer know. No, the minute I'm rude to her, she slams the door on me. If I'm nice to her, she slams the door on me. If I pretend to be someone, she slams the door on me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. A nice backpack. Here we go, here we go, I got this. Hello, hello. I don't I don't think she's gonna respond very well to Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, I can say. Hello! I am from the homeowners is homeowners association and I would like to hear more about your experiences as a homeowner in this area. Do you have you have any comments or complaints? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. She's just, she's just impossible. I don't know what to do with her. What brings a jolly office worker like you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Merry Christmas! Nick Close. I am here to sing you Christmas carols? Carols? Fuck. Christmas carols. 
Yep, no, no E. <laughs> this isn't something I must say I do enjoy a good Christmas carol. So go on, serenade me with your merry tunes. I didn't think this one through, did I? <laughs> On a second. I just told him I was gonna sing him Christmas carols. <clears throat> Forced into karaoke? Yeah, and I just... <laughs> I just swallowed water funny. What's your favorite Christmas carols, uh, chat? Feliz Navidad, because then we can see if it it can tell. What is, what's the fucking? <laughs> Let's see what's the fucking lyrics. It's Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. He did it! I'm a hammer! <laughs> it can do multiple languages. Why? <laughs> I'll give you credit for getting me into the holiday spirit, but I must ask, why did you choose to wear that sunny beanie indoors? But I'm not indoors. Okay. I wear this beanie because it helps to prevent my ears from getting cold. Would you like another Christmas carol? You got a practical reason for the beanie, huh? I suppose I can appreciate that. As for another Christmas carol, how can I resist? Go ahead, give it your best shot. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. I'm a hammer. Well, 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 you certainly got a set of pipes on you. That was quite the rendition of jingle bells. Come on in, my friend. Let's spread some holiday cheer together. Brutal, <laughs> 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 save yourself. I'm a hero lap. Dead. <laughs> I fucked up. Yep. That was a lot of cops. Holy shit. I have a three-star rating. How the hell am I supposed to continue eating people? I'm gonna get chased down. Oh, Juno! Thank you for gifting five subs! Thank you, thank you! There. Thank you very much, Juno! Deep. <gasps> and Porvel Magics, thank you for gifting five subs. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if off key Feliz Navidad <laughs> counts as karaoke, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> what? what? 
What? What on earth is going on here? Okay, okay, I can dig it. Bravo. Greg Don John, hail and well, well met, brave adventure. What brings you to my humble dwelling at such a late hour? Ahoy, matey! It's me, Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, ah, Captain know. Jack Sparrow, pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What brings you to my dungeon, Captain? Shit, I didn't think this one through. I thought he'd tell me to fuck off, but he's actually a cosplayer, so he's cool with it. Um. <laughs> I be looking for me jar a dirt. Have ye seen it? Uh, I'm afraid I haven't come across a, car, a jar of dirt, Captain Jack Sparrow. Maybe you misplaced it on one of your adventures? Aye, that be true. I sound more like Barbosa. <laughs> That'd be quite possible. I may have misplaced it when I was plundering booty. Plundering booty, eh? Sounds like you've had quite the adventure. Tell me, Captain Jack Sparrow, are you interested in joining a quest with a group of brave adventurers? <laughs> I'm always interested in the prospect of adventure, plunder, riches, and wenches. Tell me more. Ah, true adventurous spirit. Our quest involves delving into treacherous dungeons, battling fearsome creatures, and uncovering ancient artifacts of great power. Fame, fortune, and yes, even wenches await those who succeed. Are you ready to set sail on this grand adventure? Mate, you had me at wenches. Let's go. Huzzah! Your enthusiasm is contagious, Captain Jack Sparrow. Prepare yourself for an epic journey filled with danger and excitement. Once we gather our courageous party, we shall set forth on our grand adventure. Will you pledge your loyalty to this quest, Captain? I pledge my service and loyalty. Uh -huh. Excellent! Uh -huh. Your pledge is accepted, Captain Jack Sparrow. I shall open the doors of my dungeon and welcome you inside. Let the grand adventure begin! <laughs> this isn't in the rule book. <laughs> well, that went well. Who this? Who this? Oh, it's that person. Hmm. What? Oh. Steampunk top hat. Just a tree! Thank you for the 15 months! Thank you, thank you! Hey, skeleton! Mm. Ah, greetings, fellow truth seeker! What brings you to this humble abode of Illuminati knowledge and alien artifacts? <laughs> oh no. Hello, B. L. Iver. I am a seeker of truth and I wish to know your truth. I am ready to be educated and learn how the dark secrets of the world. Oh, An ego truth seeker while well, prepared to have your mind blown like the top of a submarine encountered un encountering unidentified underwater objects. The truth is like a tangled web, my friend, but fear not, for I'm here to guide you through the labyrinth of conspiracies and uncover the hidden truths of my reality. Step right into my lair. Wait, really? Okay, thanks. Wow. Excellent! Now let us dive headfirst into the abyss of knowledge, but first tell me, have you ever seen- Wait, no, you already invited me in! You can't take see back see Have you ever seen a UFO with your very own eyes? It's a pivotal experience that opens the floodgates of enlightenment, you know. <laughs> uh, 
I've never... Wait. Yes! In fact, I saw a UFO as I was walking to my house just now. As The moment I did... I knew I had to come tell you about it right away. Tell me... Tell, tell me... What is your favorite... Conspiracy... Theory? The existence of a secret society that controls the world's governments and institutions manipulating events from the shadows. The whispers say their name is the Illuminati. Have you heard the legends? Were, weren't the Illuminati responsible for killing off the... I'm trying to remember the plot to that fucking book. Uh, what were they called? The Cardinals. And that were due to succeed the... <laughs> the was it the Pope? And later rest... La and... When Robert Langdon tried to rescue them? <laughs> he knows! He knows! <laughs> You're referring to the thrilling tale of the Illuminati depicted in Tan Brown's masterpiece. While Langdon's adventures are intriguing work of fiction, they do touch upon the hidden truths of se secret societies and their influence behind the curtains. But remember, my friend, the true story is always far more complex and enigmatic than the, what a mere book can convey. The secrets of the Illuminati run deeper than you could possibly imagine. I want to believe. Ah, whoa. Ah, fellow believer, together we shall unravel the tangled web of secrets and expose the truth to the world. But before we proceed, we must ensure that you are ready for the mind-bending journey that lies ahead. Tell me, have you ever decoded a secret message hidden in plain sight? <laughs> Oh. I have not. Please teach me to be able to see the secret messages. M massages! Messages! <laughs> messages inscribed upon the things that we. that we see each and every day. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to turn this stream into debating and debating conspiracy theories with Chat GPT. <laughs> If I say cool story, bro, do you think the AI will know enough to know that I'm being really rude? Probably. My favorite conspiracy theory is the magic bullet. <laughs> Kuro, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Wait, he let me in. Clearly, mentioning that was the magic bullet. Ashwara, <laughs> 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 thank you for gifting us up to secret massage. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh. Do they evaporate when they're bitten? Apparently.
I hate her so much. <clears throat> Hi, I'm a Discord moderator. <laughs> she hates them. Oh shit. Why is that guy got the Santa hat? Okay, so what did she say? Okay, 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 okay. Kaigus, thank you for the 67 months. Thank you, thank you. Like, oh my god, do you want to discuss skincare? <laughs> Wait, she didn't immediately close the door, though. <gasps> Hi, guys. Thank you for 67 months. What are we gonna do? We, we, we... We we have we have the opportunity to actually speak. Fade, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Please tell me how it is that you are able to be so effortlessly fabulous. I want to learn from you. <gasps> well, it's about time you recognize my natural fabulousness. It takes a lot of dedication and a key eye for, to fa for fashion to achieve my level of effortless perfection. But I guess I can give you a few tips. I mean, you could use all the help you can get. Yes, please. <laughs> I would love your help with... with learning how to look good. <laughs> Do you know... If orange and green clothing looks good together? <laughs> oh, honey, orange and green together? That's a fashion disaster waiting to happen. Those colors clash so hard, it's like watching a train wreck. Stick to more sophisticated color combinations like black and white or navy blue and silver. Oh, you're a genius. I never would have thought of that by myself. When it comes to hair... What styles do you recommend for that effortlessly gorgeous vibe? Finally, someone recognizes my genius for that effortlessly gorgeous vibe. Go for loose beachy waves or a sleek high ponytail. Stop googling. Stop googling in the middle of the conversation, Regina. Wait, she let me in? She fucking let me in? You dumb bitch! <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. Ah! Easy peasy. How can there still be... Oh, do I have to eat all the cops too? Or is it just the neighbors? Who's this? Oh, fuck. Well, well, if it isn't Regina B, what's the ungodly racket about this? Sorry, what's the racket about at this ungodly hour? Speak your piece, quick. I have no idea how to tackle this guy. Are those golf sticks or canes? Like, I thought those were golf clubs, but I don't know. What do you think? They look like arrows. You think they're golf clubs? OMG, Sony. I just had this creepy guy show up at my door. I was wondering if you could give me any tips about home security. 
Home security, huh? Look, dollface, always keep your peepers open for any suspicious characters. And don't forget to lock up tight, ain't nobody getting in without an invitation. But hey, what's it to me, right? Just keep your guard up. You are so right. <laughs> I don't want to lose him because he's already kicked me out after one conversation before. Hmm... You think it- you think it's golf clubs? <laughs> Don't I feel safer with him? I feel safer already? Knowing that you are around the neighborhood. Compliment him on his hair? I don't- I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. <laughs> You're rude about his mom? Is that what I said? No, I don't think that was to him. Hey, how- how about- Well, ain't you a peach? I appreciate the compliment, kid. You know, it's all in a day's work keeping this neighborhood safe and sound. Just remember, if you need- ever need anything, you know who to call. Stay safe, alright? Thank you so much. Uh... <laughs> oh, I don't want to push it too hard because he's suspicious of everything. Wait, he asked who was going to be at the party. Oh my god, you're right! And then I said that his mom was going to be at the party. <laughs> I'm really worried that that guy might be following me right now. Could I come in until I'm sure he's gone? Um, uh -huh. Look, doll, I get that you're scared, but inviting you in ain't something I can do right now. It's best you find a safe spot and lay low for a while. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye out for you. Okay, if you're sure. <laughs> He's... I've got to be careful. He's so suspicious. I understand that you have a lot of things going on right now. Is that a set of golf clubs on you? You, you have there? Oh, I'm a fine oh you got an eye for detail, do doll. Yeah, those are my golf clubs. Helps me blow off some steam, you know? Ain't nothing like hitting a few balls after a long day of keeping things in order. So what else can I do you for? <laughs> Smooth? Uh, yeah, did you like my subject change there? Do you think I can hit on him? I completely get it. I love to handle balls to blow off some steam myself, if you know what I mean. Maybe you could teach me some new tricks sometime. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Soiled it. Okay, I gotta send to gold clubs. It's okay. It's okay. I got this now. Surely the change of outfit will mean he won't recognize me this time. Hmm. What's the big I'm idea? Not, yeah, just put- uh... just putting the golf clubs on. Hey! I love golf. Golf is one of the coolest things ever. I was wondering, do you like golf? Would you like to talk about golf? <laughs> I love the part where you hit balls. <laughs> golf, huh? Ain't exactly my cup of what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Da -da. Okay. Do you have, do you do you think you've got what it takes to swing them clubs, baby? 
I'm the best club swinger. Swing. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I'm just gonna blame everything on the hunger. In this neighborhood, I bet you I could swing harder <laughs> than anybody else. Have you ever played golf before? <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't self-proclaimed club swinger ch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it at Swingers Club! Can't say I've ever swung a club myself, what? But I've seen enough to know it's all about technique, not just raw power. Do you think you got the skills to back up that big talk? <laughs> Absolutely! I'm all about... swinging technique. I... <sighs> if I go too far, he'll get really upset at me again. If you're interested, maybe I could teach you sometime. Teach me? No, that's an offer I can't refuse. I'm always up for learning something new. All right, all right, you piqued my interest. I'll give you a shot to show me what you're made of. But remember, no funny business. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'll be the best teacher ever. Uh -huh. We'll see about that, golf pro. Show me what you got and maybe I'll let you stick around our turf. Don't disappoint me, though. I don't take kindly to amateurs. I'll do my very best and you definitely won't be disappointed. Sometimes we get stuck in this loop where they're like, yeah, okay, let's go. And then, and then it, we just kind of go around and around. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what do you want, Sony? Kind of tired, old man gets a peace and quiet around here? Charles, I'm here to to discuss your protection fee. Oh, how am I wrong? <laughs> you didn't buy it. Oh, I'm so hungry. How can there still be 11 people to eat? Maybe... Do, do the policemen count? Let's see if I can eat a policeman. Uh -huh. Well, well, well. What brings you around here, tough guy? Is there any particular reason you're looking around Mr. Toprano's turf? Wait, I am Mr. Toprano. Hi, Frank. I am Mr. Toprano. It's good to see you. Oh, yeah. Nice try, but I know Mr. Toprano and you're definitely not him. Ah, oh, shit. Hello, my food is here. Can you give me- I'm just gonna take like five seconds to go and put it out so that I can eat it because I'm so freaking hungry. Um, you guys have fun with Frank. I'll be right back.
Is Frank sliding across the screen? <laughs> Shit, what do we- how do we lie to Frank? We already lied to him once, so he's gonna be on edge. What do I do? Hi, Tuna! It's good to see you. Is Mike okay? Ah, no worries, Tuna. Yeah, I, uh... We hung out and played Hangman. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. I was just trying to do my part to keep the streets safe. I should have known better than to... interfere with your job. Shit. <laughs> I already told you what I was doing! I told you what I was doing! I... I was singing Christmas carols. Hmm... I'm a ha ha. <laughs> oh no! No! Wait, are you gonna reload? Oh, you f Fuck that. <laughs> Game over. Wow, if you fail to riz the police, you're just destroyed. <laughs> Did we lose all progress? Yep, zero out of 31. We were like, what? 19? Something like that? I fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> Honestly, no, it was really fun, though. I think it would absolutely be fun to just book around with and see what you could get away with doing. And the things that people will believe. The heck is this? What? Cleaner. Oh. <laughs> we gotta start over? We, 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 we do. Or we would. Um. Social engineering vampire, yeah. Do a run where you're as blatantly dis suspicious as possible. <laughs> that would honestly be very funny. Go tell Raven you're a vampire and see if she lets you in. That's not a bad idea. But what happens if you play it straight? You came back just to see me get arrested? Yeah, that I went to get my that. food and lost track of what I was doing, so I... <laughs> I kind of fucked up a little bit. Hi, I'm a vampire. I was, huh? <laughs> no... I'm really a vampire. Uh, oh, for real? That's a whole different level of spooky, but I don't think I'm ready for all that darkness, do I, dude? Gotta pass and inviting you in. <laughs> I didn't ask you to invite me in. I was just confessing. Fine, whatever. <laughs> what, I ordered Chinese food? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Honestly, my food is here. And as much fun as I am having, I have been doing stuff since about four. It is now past ten because uh, I was I was hanging out with Mike and everything. So I apologize very much for the very weird uh, stream schedule I've had the last couple of days. It's been kind of all over the place. Um, holidays are fun, but last stream ever. No, I'm online tomorrow. I'm online tomorrow. I'm doing a New Year's stream. So if you if you if you want some company for New Year's, please come and hang out. Uh, apologies that I'm stopping there, but I am freaking hungry and I am tired. So, thank, thank you, thank you, everybody. I had a wonderful time. That game is super fun. 
I enjoyed being called out on using Evanescence like lyrics. That was one of my favorite parts. I'm abandoning you. Yeah, but I'll be back. Don't worry, I'm just gonna go get some milk and cigarettes. Just wait right there, and I'll be back any minute now. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, if you would like information on when I'm live, please uh, check out my socials or, and, or follow the channel. Preferably both. If you would like access to the archives, please go check out my YouTube. Uh, for now, I'm going to send you guys over to one of my friends. And today, that is going to be... Uh, let's see. I'm so hungry. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to send you guys over to... Uh, Lucy Pyre sent some stuff our way. I'm gonna send you guys over to Lucy Pyre, who is playing Papers, Please, right now. Please go say hi to Lucy Pyre for me. Thank you so much again for hanging out. It was super fun. Apologies, it was a little bit uh, shorter than usual. I got up earlier than usual. <laughs> I've been doing stuff for a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. But yeah, please say hi to Lucy for me. Matthew, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, have a great night. Thank you so much, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye.